All right, fellas, what's going on? So coming at you with yet another uh, Cold Steel review. This time it is of the uh, new item, the uh, Cold Steel Blackthorn Shillelagh. Uh, this is a uh, actually gorgeous. I just it's hard to even fathom that it can be used as a weapon. But the fact of the matter is that's exactly what it is for. So uh, specifications are that it is uh, 27 inches long. It is uh, made out of, of course, polypropylene. The knob is made out of polystyrene. They gave it a nice little finish. Uh, it's a lot, you know, they gave it like a gloss that you're not going to see on the uh, the cold steel Irish Blackthorn walking stick. Let me just go ahead and give you a nice up close uh, look here. So you could see I had to, uh, to saw and file down all of the uh, clipped thorn protrusions. Um, uh, yeah, this item is uh, real nice. Uh, if you're short enough, you might be able to even use it as a walking stick. Uh, I'm short, but not short enough for that. Um, I'm thinking maybe people that are like five feet tall, give or take, uh, this might ma actually make a pretty good cane for them. So yeah, um, real interesting. All right, sorry about that, guys. These uh, these are ice blocks that I'm gonna be smashing in just a bit. They're already melting. I was trying to rush this so that uh, I could hurry up and get to them before they they melt too much. <laughs> but uh, just real quick side note, personally. The shillelagh is pretty much a poster child for how pointless uh, weapon control really is. During the uh, British's uh, final occupation of Ireland, they took away all of the uh, Irish people's weapons. Of course, the Irish being crafty uh, fellas that they are, they improvised and they started using uh, the shillelagh to, um, you know, I guess uh, brain British troops. Uh, you know, when the British saw this, they went ahead and uh, they outlawed shillelaghs all together. But then that just led to the Irish turning around and making them long enough to be walking sticks. And of course, the British being, you know, uh, you know, they didn't want to be unreasonable. You know, they wanted to be gentlemen about it, of course. So they went ahead and let them keep them. And uh, of course, the, Brit the Irish still use the damn things as weapons. So. Uh, just goes to show you, you know, when you uh, outlaw weapons, you know, all people are going to do is just uh, use something else, I guess. So uh, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and do a smash test. Uh, this time, I'm going to be using ice. Uh, I'm going to use both sides just to show you guys how effective this is as a bludgeon. First is, uh, you know, the bottom part, you know, uh, when you, oops. All right. When you uh, when you wield it like so, it's a little more uh, it's a little more lighter, a little more uh, wieldy. When you use the knob first, you know you kind of lose a a little bit of speed because I mean the knob is weighty. So here we go. First with the bottom part, and then with the top part. So let me get up here real quick. So there you go. How about that? I could probably make me some margaritas with that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, put this back here. So, yeah, Cold Steel Irish Blackthorn Shillelagh. Very effective as a, uh, as a bludgeon and as a self-defense item. And uh, just a real nice looking product overall. As I had mentioned in a modification video, just so you know, if you do purchase this, uh, the uh, protrusions are gonna be, they're gonna be a little uncomfortable, so it, it's a given. If you buy, the, if you buy this uh, item, you're gonna have to purchase yourself a handsaw and a file, and you're gonna have to get them down to something more manageable, or you will not be able to, uh, to properly wield this. Uh, as a weapon so uh, questions or comments you all do know the drill and that's all I gotta say about that peace out fellas